Flowering plants diversified into two great lineages, the monocots and the dicots, which compose most species of flowering plants. They differ in a number of features, including their leaves. For example, under the microscope, one can see two different layers in the mesophyll of the dicots, while only one general layer of mesophyll in the monocots. One can also observe, even macroscopically, a variation in how the veins are organized in the leaf, the veins containing the vascular tissue, uh, which uh, transports both water and sugar. In the dicots, these veins branch uh, so that they converge with the large uh, vessels along the midrib in the middle of the leaf. One can see that in the leaves macroscopically and under the microscope where one can see that there are vessels which are uh, going to converge uh, with uh, the main vessel in the center of the leaf because uh, they are running uh, at angles to it. In contrast, in monocots, such as orchids or grasses, uh, plants which often have long leaves, the veins tend to run in parallel along the leaf and not converge. Uh, uh, here, uh, one can observe that macroscopically, but then also under the microscope as well. Notice that the monocot leaves have all of these vascular bundles running in parallel, not on a parallel to converge with one another. In monocots, this is referred to as parallel venation, while in the dicots, that branching pattern is referred to as reticulate venation. So this is a difference in the leaves of monocots and dicots.